I think we're actually good to go. Everything's looking good on my end. Hopefully everything's looking good on your end. Hello, greetings and salutations, and welcome back to the wasteland. Hope the day's been treating you well. You got your snacks, ready to sit down, get down for fallout. Alright, just a little FYI though. A little bit this morning I was testing a couple of things out. I'm like, you know what? Let's do a little bit of building. Just a little bit. So I went and did a little bit of looting, did a little bit of building. I didn't go out anywhere that I have not been or anything like that. But unfortunately I did level up. So I'm not the same level that I once was. I'm not like, you know, level 50 or nothing. Not level 20, not level 15, etc, etc. Uh, but I did level up a couple of times. And I did build a decent amount. Be Hello. 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 Oh, welcome back. And I'm also testing out a couple of other things. And I kind of want to see what happens when it comes to, like, how it affects... Well... Things. Um, normally I just have it set to the minimum of 55% ad revenue. Well, now I put it to auto for highest. I want to see, see how it goes. I'm going to turn it right back down after this stream, but still. All right. Where we left off, we set up the trap for uh, Crane. Well, for Crane's Treasure Hunting Incorporated. And got some of the free radical raiders to show up and let us know where they're at. So Duchess has sent us on a mission to go take care of the leader. To ensure the safety of the wayward. I'm pretty sure that's what we left off. That's my main character, and that's the base, one of the bases that I have in actually that location. It's my Brotherhood of Steel theme. Yeah. That's not this character. Not even close. Not even close. Alright. Well, welcome back. Welcome back to the wasteland. Let's get our group going. Now I want to explain a couple of things that I built the camp. For one, I got the extractor going. Power going. That way I can get some concrete. Let me go over everything. I can build a lot more things. Granted, I would have to go out and get a bunch more material. But I get a little tree sap collector here to get a little bit of adhesive. Any and all extra plans that I find throughout the wasteland. This is my vending machine. So if I am on a public server, any other player can stop by my camp, check out my vending machine, and see what I have up for sale. Now something else that you get, if I recall correctly, I could very well be wrong, but it used to be to where one of the things you would get when you signed up for Fallout first, you would get access to be able to get a Collectron. Excuse me. And a Collectron, what it basically is, it's just a robot. It's a, uh, not a Mr. Handy, but a Protectron that would go out and collect scrap for you. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. This is a reskin of exactly that. And it's a dog. So I got a robot dog. So, I got him going around collecting things, and it's very little, very small, nothing big, but it does help me, there he is, it does help me get a little bit of scrap. This guy is something else that I spoke slightly about in the previous video, to where, unlike in Fallout 4, you cannot have a bunch of settlers and everything 
in your settlement. What you can have in this game is a ally. One. Uno. Just one. And, uh, because I have played a decent amount already, I already have a decent list of different allies that I could place at my camp. Typically, also at the very start, remember how as soon as I left the vault, I went down, there was kind of like this tower, and there was just a settler there. I'm like, unfortunately, we didn't luck out that there was a unique one there. Well, one of the unique ones that could spawn there is actually uh, an ally. And I do, they don't even have it listed here. Um, but allies can do a couple of things for you. They can provide you with a daily quest, a daily uh, bonus effect. Like, uh, you will no longer become thirsty or hungry for uh, a certain amount of time. Uh, give you some bonus experience. Uh, you could trade with them. It varies from ally to ally. I actually have not interacted with this ally before, which I think is one of the most recent ones. So I haven't even spoken to him yet. So I have no idea what he's even going to say. So we're probably going to be checking that out another time. I have my... Nuka Quantum candy machine here because it will give me an opportunity to get some candy that will also increase my charisma, give me a better opportunity for some for, uh, speech checks. Now I just have the basics up here. Got my crafting, got my weapons and armor and hey. chemistry. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, and all that good stuff. Mostly the basics. Just a couple of different plants if I'm needing to cook anything, whatnot. I just want to kind of fill in that spot. I'm never really going to use that. Now, there's a bunch of different items I could build that would give me bonuses. And it would take up a lot of space. Well, I only put a couple of them that will give me the most bang for my buck within a small area. By playing a pin, this pinball machine, or this bowling arcade, I will get bonus stats for 30 minutes, but I'll get two of them. Two from this, and I'll get two from this. In comparison to, like, say, uh, uh, you can get a bench press machine that would give you two strength, and that's it. But one of these gives, like, agility and perception and whatnot. I have the bed to give experience. I have my hand bone stool to be able to get that AP refresh a little bit more. Because if you remember at the very beginning, by playing an instrument for a short amount of time, you can get that AP regen. Same with the bed, you can get that 5% experience. This device, the Mechanical Derby game, will give you a bonus amount of experience, or a bonus amount of intelligence for a short amount of time, for 30 minutes. And I have a company tea machine making company tea which will help our uh, action point refresh the cookie jar just there really for aesthetics not something that I typically use the canned coffee canned coffee is very good if you have used all your AP and you're like you need a quick burst of action points if you're running away or if you're using vats constantly you can drink some canned coffee to get that quick boost of caffeine and then just some purified water now that vintage water cooler, such a good one, because normally what you would have to do to be able to get water, purified water. Now I got a bunch of different ones here, but one of them that you would get would be either the small purified water device. Oh, those are just the cosmetic ones that I got. Um, and there are other ones you have the industrial and just the water purifier. So, the water purifier, the industrial water purifier, and the small water purifier would be the ones that you would typically have access to if you did not get any of them in a, uh, in the atomic shop or through the seasons and whatnot. You would eventually also get a water pump, but you would give you contaminated water, while the purifiers would give you purified water. But they would also have to be hooked up to a power supply. Which I do have right there anyway. Doesn't. Doesn't. So let's go ahead and get our bonuses real quick. And then we're going to probably... Should we head up and do the quest line? Or should we 
Which one should we do? What should we do? We have a decent list here on options on what to do. Like, I don't want to just jet through the storyline. But just to let you know, there is also an endgame currency called Gold Bullion. That... Bullion? Bullion? Gold Bars. That is used to buy more endgame plans for armor and weapons and whatnot. And you can't really get gold bullion or gold bars. Watch your step. I might have spilled some grease around here. Sorry about that. We'll go clean it up. Um. What I gonna say? Anyway, that um. I even forgot what I was talking about. Damn it, Dale! Don't distracting me. Oh yeah, gold bullion. Uh, you can't really begin. Yeah, see, we got perception and agility by playing this pinball machine. And I can't remember what this one does. I know this one also gives us two. Nah, I didn't get a strike. Come on! So I am! Luck and perception. Then by just that, nah, that's gonna give us two intelligence. And by playing a little song here on the hand bone stool. We'll uh we'll get our AP regen. Now with being level ten also I was able to make a new weapon. And all that good stuff. Hail of our survival rate. I'm not worried about getting any legendaries or anything like that at this level. You will be swapping between all your different gear very often. And I wouldn't worry about it until you get to level 45 to 50. I think we are... You know what? Let's go check out the isolated cabin, shall we? Is there a way we can get closer? Yeah, just going to the homestead would be a little closer. We'll be using one cap. But with all of the looting that I did earlier, I did get some caps. Not a whole lot, but I did get some. Now also, when it comes to selling stuff to vendors, vendors have a... Hell? Oh, yeah. uh, have a daily limit. They start off with 1,400 caps. 1,400 caps. And they do not refresh for, I believe it's 20 hours. And that 1,400 caps is shared throughout every vendor. So you cannot go to one vendor completely so, uh, drain their caps, and then go to another one. No, it's universal. Share between all of them. Got a ghoul's note number one. Mr. and mm, the Braxtons. My name is William Keller. I represent a group of brave men and women who you may wish to meet. In the years since our new lives began, many of us have begun to lose things we once took for granted. Our skin. A face and a voice. Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones die around us. It's been 20 years. No one should have to suffer loneliness and fear. You are not alone. Agreed. If you are interested in meeting, a group of your neighbors have gathered to the east. We've been contacted by a larger community like ours living in the capital. Apparently, the city was hit hard. But they are a society is beginning to grow where we are considering joining them. WK. Okay. Some more goodies. I will take that. Ruben's safe key. Checklist. Distract him. 
stash the rest of their supplies, jump in the other crate, pray for God I survive, find anyone from 76, kill Zax. And some shelter building supplies, wood, steel, screws, gear, and copper. The Vault 51 Overseer. Huh, I never actually saw that. Maybe they changed that. Maybe they updated that. I did not realize that was actually a, a Vault Overseer. Okay, then. I think actually that's it. Alright. We will fast travel to Vault 76. Because remember, once again, you cannot get inside the vault once you leave it. So if you want to check it out, learn a couple of the, the history behind things that happened in there. You're going to want to look around before you leave the vault. Alright. So we have two options going up this way. The very first one looks like Question the Family at Anchor Farm. Remember, we looted this corpse earlier. So much easier now. Ooh, did I actually grab any? I did not. That's unfortunate. I should have grabbed some company tea before I left. Oh well. I think we'll be alright. I'm fairly sure we're gonna be okay. Some ammo. So we're definitely going through it pretty quick. Ammo box around here somewhere. Ah, right there. there we go. Well, I should have also grabbed some of that, uh, something's out there. I know it. <laughs> Uh, I was like, there's another one? Nope, that was the same one. Um, the Lonely Raider. Ooh, we better get away from that before it explodes. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, well. That would be quicker, actually. Go off the beaten path a little bit. Yeah. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? How'd the stream be going? Oh, but yeah, if I would have grabbed some of that, our charisma would have gone up a little bit more. Because if I recall correctly, there are some speech checks this farm. I can't remember though, it's been so long. So very long. Well, let's put away our gun so we don't appear hostile, just in case. Hello everybody! Anyone home? Anchor Farm! Thank you very much. I'll just, um, be here, take me stuff, ignore me. Ooh, safe. Come on, there we go. Agreement with radicals. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mag, we all benefit here. We provide you with protection, and you help feed the many, many mouths I have at my camp. You mean you get to take whatever you want and leave us all to starve? It won't come to that. I'll see to it personally. Now, do we have a deal? You can take your deal and shove it. We're not your slaves. If you want our food, you can... <gasps> That's kind of morbid of me, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Maggie. The rest of us are in agreement. We'll bring you shipments once a season. Once a month. Once a month. I'll deliver it personally. Hmm. Good. The password to get inside is Blue Danube. Blue Danube is a password. Good to know. And look who we have here. It's Daniel. Uh, Plenty of yeah. unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. Hmm. You're trying to get rid of me already? I mean, I did just walk into your house, steal a bunch of your stuff, but... Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Free to leave whenever you like. I hear you, I hear you. Well, I heard you might have some dealings with the gang up at West Virginia Lumber. West Virginia Lumber? No. Don't know anything about them. Now, I'd like you to leave. Hmm. See, there we go. We have enough of our special stat to be able to get them, so... We could either try to intimidate them with our strength, Persuade them with our charisma, or we see, you know what, let's go with some perception. You see, because you started sweating when I mentioned them, I know you know something. Uh, all right. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you want to know about it? Well, tell me about the deal you worked out. Once a month, food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. Any idea how many people are in that gang? Plenty. A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. Fair enough, fair enough. You know where they came from, though? Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy, though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch, say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. You have something you can offer them, you probably can too. Okay. We could say we're going to kill them. And then just start getting supplies from them instead. But I want to see if we can persuade the raiders to leave them alone first. If we can. Alright, no other questions. Then by all means. Beat it. Unless there's something else. Uh, I do understand why you want me gone, because it's hollow tape we found. You done murdered somebody. What are you? Hmm. You found the tape. Fine. I did it. And I'd do it again. Because Maggie was going to get us all killed. She wanted us to stand up to those thugs. To take them on all by ourselves. There are four of us. You know how many times we're outnumbered by that gang? Three to one? Four to one? I have a daughter, and she's alive now because we all were willing to make a deal. Maggie was going to throw that away because she didn't like being pushed around. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Now that's what would be part of my problem. I'd be just like Maggie. I would not, I wouldn't go with the whole bending over and taking it, you know, just to survive. Anyway, we figured everything out. We figured everything out, so... Alright. You have a good one. I'm leaving. Bye. Well, bye. Gonna... Grab a couple of things while I'm here, if you don't mind. Apparently you don't. 
I'll take that. Thank you. Any other goodies? Ah, so we got that quest done, or that portion. Now we can head up to Tyler Country Fairgrounds for the next one. And that one is to speak to the scrapper. We gotta find him. Hmm, that's a nice little lookout. Kind of like that. Did you? Oh, hey! Wandering Storyteller. Excuse me, puppies. Good doggies. If you got a minute, I've seen some wild things out here. All right, let's hear it. I do love a good scary story, and I do. Ah, oh, no. No, my friend, this ain't just a story. You see, maybe half a year ago at a campsite, not far from here, I was cooking up a delicious brothy stew when I heard a disgusting clicking sound nearby. Now, that vile sound, it, it grew and grew as the thing drew nearer, and I, I began to stir my soup faster and faster in a, in a paranoid, nervous frenzy. Okay. Yeah, I'd say forget your soup, it's long past time to go. Yeah, why didn't you take off? I'd get out of there. Well, then I saw a shadowy, twisted figure just beyond the forest edge. There was an unmistakable odor as a thick pungent stench filled my nostrils. That's when I took off, as if possessed by a burning spirit. I got away unscathed, but not before shitting my pants and spilling my soup, too. <gasps> I reckon not it was the Snallygaster, from what I've heard, anyways. Couldn't have been anything else. A terrifying creature of unknown origin. Some say it's not of this world. Others believe it to be the catastrophic result of a government experiment. Hmm. I don't want to believe you, but after what I've seen in Appalachia, I've already seen some pretty crazy things. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Just be careful out there. You never know what you're going to find. Well, uh, thanks for that. Ooh. Pardon me. Grab a couple of goodies and I'll be on my way. What do we got? What do we got? Another settler. Hey there, friend. I'm getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Gotta keep... Oh, hey, it's called Foundation for a reason. You need a base before you can rebuild society. You know Can't buy. With Foundation has really had an impact. Throughout Appalachia. I was going to say, who are you talking to? Well, we haven't really spoken about Foundation. So I don't think our character would technically know much about it. But we'll just go ahead and say Foundation takes care of its people. Hey, every little bit counts. As long as we stay focused, together we can rebuild Appalachia. Ah, excuse me. So, something else, especially uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, you would understand. There's a, a reputation setting or for factions. So, in. Oh, it's not showing up here. Is it. Ah, right Clean here. Up this, fix that. The top we'll here, to end. for us, currently there are only two factions the Raiders and the Settlers. So right now, if we come across any specific raiders, because there are multiple raider factions in Appalachia, but the largest raider faction, right now they're hostile towards us. If we could the settlers, they're just cautious the out here, the And as we level sense. up, we become, we get better reputation with certain huh. ones. Need some new uh, I'm getting real muddy. We can unlock certain plans, certain weapons, uh, certain quest lines, etc., etc. 
the typical, the typical. Liberator. I saw something pop up on my map from the Hello? I heard gunfire. Hmm. That's weird. Here we are, the fairground. We actually have some good range on that. Oh, I see him now. No way I'd be able to hit him from here. Not with this kind of a weapon. If I had a sniper rifle, that would be one thing. Oh, we just got a miscellaneous quest. Find out what the key unlocks. And Jangles got lost fair. Remember when I spoke about yesterday? Oh. If you're wondering why that's popping up. It's the daily and weekly quest. We're done with all the weekly quests, but the daily ones... Well, they renew daily. Yeah. Hello, please. I know I heard him. Sounded like they were right around the corner. Well, I wasn't completely wrong. Some oil and another one of Dilbert's Horn home. Interesting. But because we already know that plan, that's another thing that we can put into our vendor. So when we do go on a public server, we can have some people stopping by and see if we can get some caps if they need it. We got another comic book, Tesla 4. Alright, so we gotta find Jangle. In this game, Jangles, if I recall correctly, was the first monkey they sent to space. We got some Mentats. Bunch of goodies, thank you. Happy to take that. I think we're good now. Ah! Jingles the Moon Monkey! We got him. Alright. Oop, I guess we're not done yet. Oh, excuse 
Excuse me. Or I shot another one. Uh, yeah, our thirst bar has gone down. There he is. More gunshots. Oh, shotty! They're doing a good amount of damage to me. Blow it up, blow it up! Got him! Wasted a lot of ammo, but... Ooh! In fact, let's actually... Heal up. Make sure the rest of the place... New outfit. Clear out the rest of the place. Here we go. Yeah, I think we're good now. Claim. Oh, yeah, we're right next to a workshop. Which I can show here. In a moment. After, you know, let's go do the quest first. And then head over and do that. I think we're good. Now how do we get up there? I think I saw a ramp. Yeah. Well, hi! Leibowitz? Leibowitz? Hey, you, get the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. I'm not one of those creeps. Well, you, you, you here to rob me? With jokes on you, don't get nothing. We do have the strength to steal from him, but... I heard you were bragging about being able to run everyone out of West Virginia lumber. How? Ah, uh, you talked to the well-done guy, huh? Well, yeah. yeah, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all, if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. Hmm. I do not have eight strength for that. So what is it that you want? Island nearby has got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg. I'll give you what I got. Where am I stealing an egg from? Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it? Up to you, though. Okay. Well, what are you going to give me? Government-issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form and drops it right into the astral plane. Makes you nearly invisible. Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. I mean a stealth boy. We do have the intelligence, you know, it'd be a lot easier to steal the thing... If we had it. Oh, I suppose there's some logic to that. Well, here you go. Stealth boy. Oh. If you got something that would make you invisible, why don't you grab it yourself? Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. But I bet you can. Fair enough. All right. Head up. Find the locals out there. Don't mind me. You're being a little old greedy me. Being the loot goblin I am. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Now let's go check out... What is it, the racetrack? Yeah. Okay, now these are special areas. Yeah, country dirt track. Now you can see on the lower portion on the compass, it has a hammer and a wrench. Those are workshops. Workshops are locations that you can claim and build, and it's unique to your camp. Like the camp that we have back here over nearby the Wayward. 
The thing is, though, say you build this big, grand, you know, hotel, for example, at one of the workshops, like here at the dirt track. Well, if you go away, you're off doing a, a quest or whatnot, another player can go over and try to claim that workshop. And you can either do one of a couple of things. You can just let them take it, or you can go back there and try to kill them. Now, you can have pacifist mode on while playing the game, and other players cannot do damage to you. But if you are at a workshop, that is an area that PvP is completely open. So, if you're going to a workshop, just be mindful. Other players can be here and they can kill you. Ooh, some silver, I will take that. But yeah, every workshop also has resource nodes that would come in very handy. And yes, I'm one of those people that reload all the damn time. Can we make it up here? Yeah. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Don't you run from me! Oh! Alright. We have now cleared out the area. So what I can do, I can do a couple of things. Where is... I think it was back over here. Yeah. You can either go all the way back over here and go to go claim it. This is basically the camp device for a workshop. Or, at least for, for a computer, it's V, which is your build option. Hold that down. And as long as you're in the area... Right, here. How uh, far away. Can't interact with it from here. But it gives me the option. It does cost caps, but if you clear out the area, you get some caps. So right now it will only actually cost me about five caps to claim. It will take time for me to claim. This would give another player the option. Because it, it, it would let everyone in the Appalachia know, Hey, this person is claiming this workshop. If another person had already claimed this workshop... I would have to dispute their claim first, which takes longer, and then I can claim. So it gives the player more time to be able to defend their workshop if they want to. See, now I can build here if I wanted to. Like there are these other resource nodes, we got aluminum, Fertilizer, silver, steel, and junk. Junk is probably one of the most valuable, because junk will give you a variety of everything. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Alright, so we need to go collect the egg for Leibowitz. Leibowitz. One thing I am actually going to build. Now you can also look in the upper, upper right. You can see how much it costs. Well, back in our camp, that would not be green. The reason why it's green is it is indicating that it's going to use the resources here at the workshop before it works, before it uses your own. So let's go ahead and some stash boxes. And, we only need one workstation. We'll go ahead and scrap everything. Learning all these plans as we go. Scrap all the junk. 
again, we completed the dude, but at the same time. Drop off any access ammo. Now, even if another person were to claim this workshop, remember, each of these are unique to your character. So it's not like they're going to have access to all your loot. They'll just have access to their own. And did you. Loader. Now, if you remember floaters from the first and second game, they definitely don't look like that. They look like giant... Super Mutant! Got it. If you see a floater somewhere, you're almost guaranteed to find super mutants nearby. Yeah, I can't remember the reason. The floaters have become very attached. Super mutants. Who's this? Who's this? Ah, another settler. It's hard work making a living out here. Oh, good luck with that, and be careful. There was a super mutant right over there. I can depend. Ah, yeah. Also, periodically, any of the workshops that you have claimed will periodically be under attack, and you so you have to go back there and defend them. Other than that, while you still have access to it, you can fast travel to that location. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, wouldn't worry about it. In all honesty. Right, there you go. Go ahead and let's uh, maybe. Oh, that's right. I don't have all the good stuff yet. Uh, buy drink some new cola. I think we're good enough. Death claw! Death claw! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Oh you're gonna fuck me up. Oh you're gonna fuck me up. I still didn't get to reload? Are you kidding me? Stim! Stim! And run! <sighs> the dead claws are, um, they're pretty nasty. They have been, they're a staple of the Fallout series. So yeah, we lucked out. We lucked out. So it was a death claw egg that he wanted us to get. Fucking jackass. Ooh, new charity, thank you. You know what we can actually do? That, this is something else. You can fast travel to any of the workshops you have claimed for free. Unlike if I wanted to fast travel to the fairground, it's going to cost me a cap. And since we only have 500, well, we have a decent amount. And I'm lazy. What I get? We at the Great Appalachian Silver Locket. appreciate your continued purchases and subscriptions. Um. However, we would like to remind you that your bill in the amount of 
$73,428.66 is overdue, and prompt payment is appreciated. Have a great day! Since when did I even enter a sweepstake? Excuse me! No? Well? Little jokes on him. Money don't mean anything in this world anymore. It's all about bottle caps. So, jokes on him. But yeah, we can fast travel back to the uh, dirt track now. We can defend it and get some experience while we're here. And also, by uh, claiming this and defending it and whatnot, you'll also get a basic uh, plan to craft stuff. Wait. Oh, it's Super Mutants. Shit. That's better than de Death Claw. I didn't know at level 10. I guess we're at level 11 now. You know, the game would see us as strong enough to deal with this shit. Oh, we got waves. We're only halfway done. I see movement. Kill. 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 No kill. Oh shit. Oh, we need to get back out from behind that. That's gonna explode. Does this explode? It does not. That's why we moved. Coming around from the left. I knew it. Got it. And we, that was a daily, complete an event while on a team. Even though we're by ourselves, we are on a team. We're just the only one on the team. Ooh, while we're here, go ahead and all the new items we got, go ahead and scrap everything. And why you see this atomic thing is I put a, a paint on this weapon. I only have the one. Because I think it looks cool. Except for that. Any extra ammo. Oh, we're getting low on ammo. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, you crazy motherfucker. Sending us to get a death claw egg? Really? 
really? I mean, after all, it is Death Claw Island. You respond. I don't like that. I haven't even been gone for too long. How oh, have y'all already come back? Why? Why can I not talk to you? You find me my egg? Send me to an island filled with death claws! Only one. Now you understand why I didn't want to go. So you get me my egg or not? Yeah, here you go. Well, hello. That is a beauty. When you're hatched, you're gonna call me Papa. Here, those are my end of the bargain. Make the most of them. No. When it get born, and big enough, it's gonna eat you. But okay. Now... We can make our way... Up to the raider camp. I think that's what we're going to do, but I don't think we're going to go in there yet. We are not ready. At least, I don't think so. But I want to get up there at least to unlock the location. And any other places nearby. Because once you have been there, remember, you can fast travel to it. Got one that's up in that direction. Not seeing anything over there. No. No. But we do have gunfire right here. Tektron. Against some settlers. Did we, did we save her? We did not. We unfortunately did not save her. Or her. That's unfortunate. Or him. Bam! We are slow on the draw. There's no other locations over that way. Let's go ahead up here real quick. To unlock this location. Also give us a little bit of experience. Because whenever you discover a new location. You also get experience. We did good. Any yep. Darling Sisters Lab. Well, what kind of lab were they running? Is that it? We'll wait for the poison and the fire a minute. We have poison, fire, and I'll take it, ice. Yep. Go ahead and stim up. Got 
We have a crafting station here. Don't take everything. Another Mr. Jangles. Give him all the goodies. He didn't thank you. Oh, it's a bot. Right. They found their way to me. I'm a nobody. Why would they want to? They ain't advertising to anybody. I even put it in the title. Do not watch. Test and shit. A lot of these gas canisters seem to be around here. Oh, something else that I ended up doing. Because like in um previous video, I made the apparel. I made this outfit, and I edited my appearance slightly. Um, remember I also said at the very beginning, you can change the look of your character on the fly. You can do it at any time. So, any which way. Um, what I recommend doing, if you have items that you know you're going to have and you don't want to scrap, you can change the name of them to where they will appear on the very bottom of the list. So it's not like, you know, you're just scrapping, scrapping, you're just going through things real quick. You know everything at the bottom will uh, be stuff you don't want to scrap. So that way it kind of helps. It somewhat helps. Does not, does not guarantee You still gotta be mindful. We got some more stuff. Got some more farms. How far are we going off the track? Not by a whole lot. Seems we're kinda close to this next one. Yeah, it looks like it's right there. We'll grab this. And then we'll head back off to the uh, northwest to get to that other location. We have movement. Sports. Hit me through the house like that. Is that all of them? That's not. Okay, I think we're clear now. Machete. North Star. North Star by Michael Oberry. You are my northern star. I can see you wherever you are. In the backwoods, in the forest. Love binds us, and it brings us mist and shadows, cloud and shade, heaven and earth. Home and blade. 
in the backwoods, in the forest. Our love binds us and it brings us. Interesting poem there, friend. Interesting. Definitely could use some antibiotics. Really need more ammo. We're starting to get low. Yeah, we're below 400 for our ammo. Get back over here, we'll place our tent. So that way we can fast travel all the way back up here for free. Because this is pretty far up north. It would cost us a couple of caps to be able to get back up here. we can discover negative <sighs> ah lovely advertising they have a body on a pike Laser. Another protectron. Going after something. We'll pass on that, thank you. Well, yeah, let's put down our survival tent. Put it down right here. That way we can fast travel back to this anytime we need to. And we got. Caught, we got our workstation. Where are they? Yeah, then we have our stash box, scrap box, and ammo storage right there. So we're golden. Can we get close enough to actually discover the place without triggering anything? Bingo. Because we are not ready to deal with them yet. I don't think. I can't remember. Oh, we can head up this way. Oh, what does this one do? Um, I think this has to do with our shelters. Which is basically, it's a camp within your camp that you can build. But these shelters, you have such relaxed building restrictions. To where you can stack things up real easy. Overlap a lot of things. So yeah. I think we're going to go check that out get that unlocked. We may be able to actually build it ahead of time, I'm not sure. I can't uh, remember. I was heading off in the wrong direction. It's this way. A hunter. Everything gets damp in this weather. What you hunting? We got him. What? This will make for a nice meal. Gonna have me some stew. Okay. Uh, good job. You you uh. Scorch of the ferals don't get you. The rats will. You keep hunting. Weirdo. Raiders and ghouls. Let them take each other out.
Ghoul didn't help much now, did they? Did you really? Fucking raider scum! What were they fighting over? A whole lot of nothing. I guess there is food here. In the wasteland. Not be. Cannot be turned down. That's it. Okay. Do we have anything else that we can, without having to stim up? Nope. I guess we could have gone back and did, did some cooking at our camp, or at our uh, tent. But. I think we'll be okay. I mean, we're at half health, but I think we can manage. Oh, you know what? I feel so bad. I'm I'm really bad at it. I don't know if you're still here, Aria. I'm sorry. I am so bad at, at, at remembering to do that. I apologize. We were able to make it up here without any issues. I mean, yeah, we came across little bandits, the raiders, but... Nothing we can't deal with. Ooh. We'll be in there in a second, see if there's stuff around here we can loot. Bunch of plastic. Oh, some Harold. Appalachian. Oh, I think that's what this is, right? Yeah, both the same. Okay, cool. Got some beer. Ooh. Yeah, and some vault dweller. A button. The button opened the vault. Should we go into the vault? Maybe another time. Let's go into the claim center. While it's loading, I'm going to go grab another drink. Alright. I'm back. Back like shoulder blades. Ooh, got a bunch of goodies. I'm gonna do some scrapping. 
We're almost at capacity. Oh, hello, Mr. Clark. Oh, a visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. Hey, you and me too. As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Sure, uh, yeah, I saw a poster. It was not a train station, it was right outside here. But yeah, it, uh, sure. Ah, there's nothing quite like a successful marketing campaign. Now that you're here, may I interest you in claiming a free shelter? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me, and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Alrighty. Well, uh, I'll be with you in a moment. Got a bunch of stuff I want to go and take from you, if you don't mind, because I don't think you're going to have any general use for it. Like, what do you need food for? You're a robot. Grateful to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. Oh, excuse me. Being a little demon, I am. I can't help it. I see shinies and I want them. What's this over here, anyway? Mr. Gills. Okay, we don't have a safe key, I don't believe. Uh, alright, claim center. Information hub. Well, that's a lot of... Yeah, this will go over all the information about your shelter. So if you have any questions about it, you're going to have to do a little bit of reading. We've been doing enough reading as it is. But it goes over, uh... Going in them, leaving them, what you can do, etc., etc. Registration system. We are now a new owner of the shelter. Password required. You do not have the password. Alright. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. You're Before very we well. part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, do you know the password to access Mr. Gill's notes on the terminal? I'm afraid not. Mr. Gill was quite paranoid about things like that. He kept his effects in a locked safe and always carried the key on him. If he wrote down the password, he likely locked it in there. Hmm. All right. So that's probably this then, right? Oh, we did have it. That must have been the overseer. Ah, uh, okay. Helen is the path. It's been so long, a lot of this stuff feels new to me. Password. Well, here I am. Oh, this is going over the history. Of 51, and it was a 51 vault seer. That's right, that's right. Okay. So yeah, this is just going over all the, the history. Not all the history, but the overseer's history. Of all 51. Okay, cool. It 
It looks like you've successfully registered as I already a shelter spoke to you owner. about this. Why are you saying I have to do it again? Visitor, a marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some yep. materials to build your shelter's entrance. As a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? No, I'm good. Then allow me to extend a warm shelter's claim center for my bad. well to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. Will do. Okay, I guess we're uh, done with this. Yep, cool. And I'm thinking, let's head back to our camp. See, there's that daily again to speak to Lane, and that's the first thing we did previously. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. We already got that done. It has it marked. But yeah, a better tomorrow. If I go to data, daily, yep, see? We already have it done. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, that's right, we leveled up. Okay, uh, I think we're pretty good on a lot of the stats that I feel are important. I think it's always good to have, to get three strength, to get three charisma. Let's get one more agility, because that way, we really need one more agility? No, we don't, no, we don't, no, we don't. Um... We do need let's yeah, let's put the rest of the point in intelligence so that way we can level up quicker. But there is an agility, yeah. Through hiker. That way any of the food and drink we carry, it will weigh up to ninety percent less. That's what we want. I don't know, Born Survivor really helped us, really saved our ass, but I think we'll be okay. For now. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's head back to... our camp. We're gonna have to take a new picture of ourselves. And while we've been away, uh, thank you, doggy. Uh, the Collectron has been loading up. We got some adhesive the Tree Sap Collector has gathered. We got some concrete scrap that the Extractor has gotten. We got a bunch of goodies. So, bam. Now, let's get some of that candy. And if we wanted to, we could get some uh, plants for cooking. This is a nice place. I'll take the company I never was tea. Much of a builder myself. Canned coffee. Is there anything else for us to scrap? Combat knife. That's it. Oh, was there any plans that we have? There's that one that we can sell. Yeah, we got some couch, some office couches, and a foot locker. Now, to put for stuff for sale, we come down here to the vending machine. We're gonna go over to our notes. Down here, there's Dilbert's corn pone. We'll sell five caps. But why not? We don't need it. Sell it. That way, get some goodies. How are we doing on our. Okay, we still have kindred spirit, but everything else has worn hey. off. Hey. Let's go ahead, refresh. Kindred Spirit, and while we're laying down, 
we will slowly get our health back. So that way it will also save us, hopefully, a stim. Yeah, it's not quick. There are perks you can use to help make that go quicker. But free health is free health after all. We should get that. There it is. Go ahead and get all our bonuses real quick. It doesn't take very long to get them. And they last for anywhere between a couple of hours to 30 minutes. So, like... I can't really complain. Strike! And it's fair. Play that funky music. <laughs> Don't want to get copies for it. Cause yeah, the last video definitely got demonetized. But uh, meh. Hope I'm not in the way. <laughs> am, am I in the way? Maybe. We should, well, you know, next time we come back, we'll talk to Dell. And all I know is that he's from the Brotherhood. He is a squire from the Brotherhood, and he was put into the game after the success of the uh, Fallout series. Ooh, also, we did grab some company, co uh, company tea. That will last for an hour. So now, our action point refresh should be pretty decent. So we should be able to run a good ways. And yet, look how quickly we get our action points back now. Love it. Any goodies? Yeah, we got one. There's a lot of people that have a tendency to build a camp over along this side, which... Yep, the pop-up just came up probably because exactly for that. Uh, I actually like to put my camp here too. I have a certain uh, prefabricated building that goes very well right next to that trailer, that other trailers, so it looks like I'm running kind of a motel. I like it. For my actual builds for camps, I try to have themes. Makes it somewhat enjoyable. Blood Eagle! I don't think we've encountered any of the Blood Eagles yet. They took out Super Mutants! Oh shit. And we leveled up! I can't believe they were strong enough to take down some super mutants. There's some more gunfire off there in the distance. That's Slocum's Joe. The Shuttler taking out some ferals. You need any help there, friend? Oh, it's taking out the now the people have opossum? come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Are you good? How's it going? Yeah, it looks like you can take care of yourself. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Actually, I'm going to level up real quick. Oh, uh, what's the next one we should put our... Should we get one more agility so that way we can... 
Yeah, we're gonna let's get one more agility so that way we can get that born survivor. Was there anything for that? Can't be just all the intelligence perks I have access to right now. Hmm. If those raiders come snooping around, they're gonna regret it. Well, let's get another level of first aid. That way we can get some more health back for our stims, more bang for our buck. Surveying. All right. A lot of these liberators around. This. You're so welcome. All over. Building this place up is hard work. We need to be a little more careful with our ammo. Oh, we got a mine over here we can quickly unlock. Scorch is killing the beavers! Shame on you. What did that beaver ever do to you? Oh, mine coal in the mine. We just got a new miscellaneous quest. Oop. And company. Try me. I think we'll hold off on going inside the mine for now. We can always come back at a later point. Our goal right now is to head up here to Morgantown Airport. Or should we go down to Sutton? Sutton would probably be a lot quicker. Yeah, so let's go to Sutton. This is the right direction, right? Most. Over the hills. I forgot how quickly our action points refresh now. Love it! Love it. On the top of the hill, there's another place that we could have discovered, but. That would now take us way out of the area. So we're just gonna keep going. So our next actual town. Flatwood was the first one. Find the next journal. Hello? Anybody home? Another plan we can sell. Let's start down and work our way up.
No, we haven't been unlocking stuff. You'd be surprised on some of the stuff you can find inside. And we have a good amount of bob pins now. So I think we'll be okay. Nothing really of note down here. Good amount of loot though. I'm gonna complain. Ooh. We already have that for the Tinkerer's workbench, but yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that as well. Something else we can sell. Maybe get a couple of caps for. Let's scrap everything. And just finished another daily quest. And we ranked up our season. How many more daily quests do we have anyway? Okay, so we have to kill cultists with a bladed weapon, eat a cake pie or candy, or build traps or turrets at our camp. We just gotta do two of these to get the gold star. Okay. Should be easy enough. Should be easy enough. Oh, we in fact... Where is it? Yeah, we got the candy from before. But we don't have ten. The sugar bombs count as candy? It does! Okay, there we go. There we go. Done and done. Easy game, easy life. Gimme. Hello? Nobody's here. Let me take the damn pen. Leatherman jacket, okay. Baseball cap. Journal entry number two. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. Sorry it's been so long, but I... I couldn't get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio, listening to the Silver Shroud. Dad, you were right about what living underground would really be like. Twenty-five years locked in with the same people was... a challenge. But watching them pair up, get married, have children... Well, I think I got to know a little bit of what you and Bob were always telling me. Since I'm doing this whole trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school is in order. That's probably our next destination. Yep, find the next journal, journal at Morgantown High School. So I think... Yeah, it's up there, so it's a good thing we headed over this way. It's a good thing. Now, I know what's up here. Excuse you? Don't you hiss at me. But up here... We're on a lock, but we're not actually going to go in. Hmm. 
overseer's home. Now, up here is where the overseer is at. Right in here. Yeah. At a later point, I don't think that unlocked yet. Right now, we could go and talk to her, but it's not going to really yield anything. So, I would recommend waiting until you get the quest. And another donation box. Um, until you get a quest. That she wants to talk to you. Alright. Now we got that done. So, yeah. Now we can head up to Morgantown. Yeah. There's a couple of locations we can stop by on our on our route. There's Mr. Handy talking about. Poor robot. You can hold up procedure. Drop everything you got, friend. Nice and easy. He's now Mr. This Bandit. Stick up. Mandate. Just empty your pockets and no one gets hurt today. No. I can't interact with him. Tolerant demand. My patience is running low, friend. Leave something on the ground hmm. and walk away. How about? Some spoiled meat. Want some spoiled meat? <laughs> he took offense to that. I'll just leave that there. Damn, I see a fake actor amongst those statues. Welcome to Helvetia! For the most part, nothing really happens in this town, except for certain times of the year. Ah, uh, Fashna! It's an event. Oh! Basically, um... Oh, what would be a good example? I can't remember. But it's just it's a fun little event. Fun little event that happens here. Harvest. Murmurs of the weak willed unfaithful whispers. Perhaps another offering live and screaming to help them see and sow the blasphemous mounds. The harvest willis. Hmm. Yeah, I get definitely on that drug. Bunch of raiders over here, huh? Maybe some cannibals. Oh, I didn't even know that you could take those. Huh! The more you know. Ah. Uh. Cultist of the Mothman. Unfortunate that none of them are here. Well, we don't even have a bladed weapon anyway. So it wouldn't much matter. Come on. Climb some stairs. I, I know you can do it. Ooh, a new cola. Get for up here. What? I wish I could put a silencer on this. I unfortunately. 
have not learned that plan yet. Ooh, we just got request government airdrop. Just got a new quest. Fuck out of me. Bunch of burnt stuff. Can't get in there. There's a bunch of goodies for that we can grab. Ooh, Radstag stew. Let's go ahead and learn that. Thank you. Pallet printer. We don't have the skill for that either. Oh yeah, I remember there was um there was actually, if I remember correctly, there was going to be a voting system in the game to where there could be people head like a leader or a mayor of certain areas for so long. And all the players could vote. So they got rid of that last minute. Unfortunate. We should protect Tron updates. I will make the requested updates to the protectrons. The robots will now decide on their own how often we celebrate the fashion act. Jensen is aware of my concerns. About frequency and the unpredictable environmental factors. Jensen says it will be better for the world. Just don't come to me if the robots choose to have a party every single day until the end of the world. <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad now, would it? No, it, it really would. Upstairs. Like, ah, uh, here shit. I don't see shit. Airplane crash. I'm going to check up crash right with the local. This town is on the brink, and this could be the catalyst, regardless of whether or not there are survivors from the crash. Wait here for me, and get everything ready to move when I get back. Didn't really work out too well, now did it? That'd be another perk to actually help out for early game. Where you can find, just like that perk that just popped up. Uh, I have a perk. Pharma Pharma. 40% chance to find extra aid chems in chem containers. There's also one to do that for ammo. But picking the perks early are rather important. 
But I'm not going to invest that one point. That one card for just finding more ammo. When I know I can find more ammo in the world. Didn't see you there. I'm gonna loop around the house, get the one inside. We are now overweight. Not just in real life, but in the game. What we got on the admin terminal? Oh, it's just... Yeah, it's about the voting system. Gotcha. Yeah, let's get more overweight, why not? Hopefully there will be a crafting thing. Oh yeah, that's a lot of a lot of aluminum and whatnot that we need. Ah, oh, excuse me. nearby. Sounds like he's below. Didn't know he was exactly below. Oh, shoddy, huh? Stop running! Wonder, can we place our tent anywhere? There we go. The dirt track that we took over earlier is now under attack again. But I'm worried about it. Ammo storage. Okay, we're holding good around 500 ammo. I think we'll be okay. Do I have any dupe kits? Yeah, I have a campaign hat, a jacket, vestment. Go ahead and get rid of all of them. And we don't need that mod. Okay. Alright. Now we can start running again. Ooh, we're not even close to being able to unlock that. And that's the highest rank, rank three. Taint happening. Ooh, an important looking desk. But I'm not seeing anything actually important.
Okay. Clear out the next building. Definitely use some silver. Happy Fashna! Welcome to Rage's Han's Restaurant. Hoss Restaurant. We are having a special on all desserts for Fast Knot Day. What is Fast Knot Day? German and Swiss settlers came to Helvetia in the 1800s and brought their traditional festivals with them. Fast Knot means fast night. It's time to eat the richest food before a period of fasting. The most popular treat is named after the day. You might recognize a Fast Knot as a type of donut. A fried desert dessert made by the dozens every fashion day. I do like me a good donut. And get that. We got a bunch of stuff that we can sell. Once we get back to a vendor. Checklist. Gunter. We need silverware, cookware, priority. Can things check for potatoes we can plant. Okay. And we already know that plan. That's unfortunate, but we can always sell it to get some more caps. All right, cleared out this area. Cross the bridge. We're gonna find. Oh, just to let everyone know, because like I said, I have played this game before. A lot of it's it's coming back to me because I, I always forget. Um, in this area, you'll find a bunch of goodies. Fashion out robots. I admit I was skeptical, but having the robots here to celebrate Fashion out was actually, or has actually been very fun. The tourists seem to enjoy them. It means less work for us. Now they can move a little faster. Yeah, the robots move real slow. Take all the honey. You could unlock that if I had the pick locking skill. Or, come over here, under this flower pot. Is the honey house key. There's nothing real special back here. Just some more loot mainly. We've already been in there. Check out the cheese. Cheese house. Somebody's in here. Multiple. My aim is so bad. I just wasted a pretty much a full clip. Oh, I'm so bad. Cherry responders outpost. Responders? Flatwoods are abandoned Point Pleasant and Harper's Ferry. Good to know. We're actually up going off to the airport. To go meet them.
Dispatch, not robots. Oh, another copy. Excuse you. Hit him already. German books. I want to start ordering our books in German and Swiss version. No one actually reads them anyway, and I think the novelty of buying a book in the native tongues will go over well with tourists. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, just multiple copies of the same thing. Hmm. Ooh, cup cap. I don't think I have one of them yet. And still none of these ballot printers will respond to my input. They are defiant to the very end. Purified water, please and thank you. And that's pretty much all there is to the Helvetia area. Outfit for my collection, thank you. Okay, we're good. I think we're gonna wait. Uh, we're close. But I know what's up there. A good amount of super mutants. And I do not think we're ready. I personally do not think we are ready. I really just want to go build right now. I want to build an extravagant base. Uh, maybe... Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I, like, I don't mind having something so simple, like like what I have right now. I don't know if I have the materials and I don't want to get highly invested in it and not, you know, get anything done. And something else, it may not be as entertaining. Granted, this may not be entertaining, period, for some people, just me playing. But, just me going around trying to build some of the time, I'm not really even doing much of anything. I'm just looking and I'm sitting there thinking. Potting. Scheming. But actually, that may have been the best route to go while I'm testing the whole ad bullshit. Why am I not getting the, the prompt? There we go. What the fuck was I having a problem with that? Ragged mine supply. the surrounding area. Maybe we can find something while we're out here. Leave. No, you leave.
maybe I can... Can't get up there, though. Uh, it was worth the shot. Had to try. The front door is probably unlocked. Oh no, we do need a key to even get in. Maybe we'll find it in one of these houses. Oh, hi! Spanish emergency signal. That's a camp signal, I'm not getting anything. Oh, that's right. I repeat, all responders report to Morgantown Airport right away. Bring any weapons you can. The Scorched are coming, and there's a lot of them. Please hurry, there's not much time. Chavez out. This message will repeat. Oh, son to Dane also just... This is Dane Rogers with an automated alert. An unknown dangerous creature has been sighted in the vicinity of the Sons of Dane compound. This thing's been attacking the Buck's Den beer house every night while we party. We call it the Night Stalker. It's killed some of our best guys. Polly says the loud music is what's pissing it off. So we can make a ruckus to draw it here and set up an ambush. Hell is some beast gonna put it into our good time. So we're pitching on blasting the jukebox and jamming on instruments loud as we can. Even rigged up some old busted instruments to shake around. Feed on some of them ferals we caught. That also makes a proper ruckus. Something about all them particular sounds seems to send that son of a bitch into a blind rage. Hmm. Any good hunters out there want to stop by and help us kill the Night Stalker tonight, you'll be rewarded in all the beer and partying you can handle. Message is set to repeat. Interesting. And we found a little cave. I wonder if this is how we're going to be able to get in. Could I honestly? I don't remember. I, I don't remember doing this at all. Maybe it was added later. Who knows? So this is all new to me right here. Somebody was keeping an eye on things. Looks like you. Did you shoot that person? Hear something moving. A lot of digging shit. A lot of big ass drills and everything. That scorch sounds like they're dropping a deuce and they're having a having a problem doing so. Inside? It doesn't... I don't think we're actually inside. We may be in the warehouse. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, now we're in. Now we're in. I think. Is there a key back here? in but where is the key is there even a key I would imagine there is but yeah that's the only way we can open up the door open the up Okay. That all of them? I think we cleared out the place. I hope. There's the key. All right. We don't have the skill to unlock that, unfortunately. But we can at least now open the doors. Okay. New experience for me. Even after so many hours, you'd be surprised how often you may come across new things in the game. I could have been there since day one, but you've just never experienced. Granted, it may not be anything crazy. Like, that was not anything... It was new, but it was not anything new. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just a location I have not explored. That's all. But hey. New is new. How close can we actually put it in here? Oh, that's as close as we can get, huh? Okay. Maybe you'll be able to actually... You can put your camp probably down near here and act like it's part of this little, little town. If you wanted to. That may be an idea. I got a bunch of scrap, didn't I? Sweet! All happy for that. We're doing good on ammo. Okay. So yeah, I think we can follow this road and just continue to go north. We should be good. Acquired. Where the fuck you come from? Outfit. Really? I mean it. I had no idea that the smelly, wandering, vagrant look was back in style. 
Congratulations. Just about time to eat. Where are all these people popping up from? You're not an insult bot. Are you? Did you hear? People are saying there is gold everywhere. Uh okay. Anyway. I just follow the road mostly up north. Probably cut over. Can we cut over now? Yeah, we can follow it a little bit longer. Oh, maybe, uh, yeah, let, let's go. There's a super mutant patrol right there. Go ahead and cut over. I didn't want to burst into a sprint and make too much noise. Granted, we're not exactly the most stealthy, but we're not exactly, uh, going loud. Need a little bit more looting while we're here. Let me find some goodies. There doesn't seem to be... No, we can't place... Can't place our camp here. I was going to say, there's not really a, any map locations nearby that I could see. I mean, yeah, there's that, but... Hmm. I was just thinking, maybe did I find... Did I find something real good? No. No, I didn't. Uh, was there anything else back under here? I got sidetracked. As I always do. Just more loot. <sighs> Puppy. You scared me. Money. I'll take that. Thank you. What is it, baby? Alright. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to bring Onyx outside because he probably needs to go to the bathroom. I'm going to put on the music. Ooh, let me, uh... Scoot over. Okay. I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. He just needed to take care of his business and he came right back in. Alright. Who are we hooking? We are very close to a bunch of locations. The closest seems to be over there. Let's go over this way first and kind of work our way around and get them all. I think the train station is probably the furthest. And we'll start going uh, counterclockwise and getting them all. There's a lot of locations in this area. Probably one of the biggest towns. One of. There's quite a few. Quite a few. You know what? Let's get rid of that. It's taking up a decent amount of that. Let's get rid of this for now. Get rid of this for now. And not worry about that. Quite some time. I'm just going to focus on these. Put that off. Oh, I got rid of the... Damn. Look, it's going to cost seven caps to be able to travel all the way up there. And as we level up, it's going to cost more and more and more. I right, see. Now in the upper, upper right, um... Hero of Tourism. Tune in to WGRF Grafton. You are listening to WGRF Grafton Radio. I am your host, the Mayor of Grafton. Okay, is anybody listening? Anybody? That's what I thought. Well, if anyone does hear this, please come see me at City Hall. I have something that... Uh, never mind, just come see me, right away, as in now, or sooner. You. And you're just going to repeat. Alright, so also it has us, find responder supply caches. Responder cache, right here. Found one. Boom. Easy peasy. No cash can hide from me. For I am the loot goblin. I will find all the loot. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Probably right up that tower. Can you hear? Sounds like at least getting any movement now. I'm gonna say it sounded at least like two, but there's probably more. Oh yeah, there's three. Oh, there's four, actually. Oh. More than that. Hi. Sounds like there's still one more. Where? Not sure. 
sounds like it's outside of this area. No, let's just go get the cash. How are we going to get up there? I guess we have to go this way. I'll take some more ammo, please and thank you. Ooh, and a stuff boy. We haven't even used the other one. Shit. Oh, there's a staircase over there. Check out the other area real quick. Yeah, he's in here. Oh, you know you're outside this area. Okay. You go ahead and stay hidden. I'm worried about it. Ooh, new plan. And there's the cash. The vamps. Now there's just one more, I think. Radio jammer. Interesting. Why do you have a radio jammer up here, huh? Hmm. Cartel or Carter and Blackwell. Traitor. If you or I sat in a room and recorded a robbery, then refused to give information regarding the culprits, we'd be in jail. But Quinn Carter, despite interviewing a man guilty of a far grander crime, walks free. Support justice and refuse to buy any copies of the Charleston Herald until Quinn Carter is charged with conspiracy to commit treason. Or until she reveals the location of the traitor Sam Blackwell and all his fellow free states successionists. Hmm. Thought the free state people were uh, here to help. That may just be some bullshit. Who knows? Take a quick way around, shall we? Oh, hi. I don't think that was the one I was hearing. No, I didn't want to shoot you. I wanted to shoot you. Oh. Do we still have any company tea? Yes. Perfect. Oh, there are a lot of you. They still haven't found out where I am. One more. Oh. Take that back. There we go. And we leveled up. Perfect timing. It should be around here somewhere. Bingo. Oop, that's gonna explode. We should maybe get out of here. It's also gonna attract any unfriendly neighbors. Ah! And also, we're right nearby an area. Keep away from the radiation barrels. We have not visited one of the train stations yet. And I talked about it a little bit before in the previous video and stream.
The stations are where you can do a couple of things. One, these here are the legendary exchange. Any legendary weapon or armor that you want to get rid of, that you're not going to use, you're not going to sell, you can go in here, if you have any, it will give you uh, a legendary script. And you can spend up to 500 worth of trading in legendary items to get up to 500 a day. And then you can use that to exchange them for certain items that you can help get other endgame things. I don't want to go into too much right now. But, you'll be coming to these legendary exchanges quite often. Quite often at a later point. These are one of the vendors that they always have 1400 caps, something else I was talking about in the previous video, that is shared between all other vendors, except under special circumstances. That will be explained much later. Now while you are here, this is also what I was explaining, if you click on all of the tacks on any map that you find, it will help locate every other location on here. Granted, they are not fast travel. Travel, You can't go there quickly. But now, on the map, you can see all the different stations throughout the world. So you'll know which way to go if you needed to find a station. Something else that they have here, these posters. Now we already, already did this one, but the others we have not clicked on yet. This one now gave us a, uh, we can attend a uh, frat party. It's going to be interesting. This one's interesting. I like this one. Sheep Squatch ate my brother. For more information, come to Van Lowe Taxidermy in Lewisburg. Gave us another quest. The Responders poster. Want help need aid? Stand together, rebuild America. I think we actually already clicked on this one. Or we're in the process of the quest, actually. The Rose Room. This is actually a more recent content that was added to the game. I like it. The Rose Room. Atomic Fun, Cocktails, and Music. But we're not going to be going there anytime soon. I don't even think we're close to that area right now. I take that back. We are somewhat close. But still, to be able to get up there, we would need to go through down up here and then go up that. We're not going to worry about that for right now. Turn that off. The other one down here, taxidermy, we're going to turn that off. I mean, there will always be, like, I could go down here even though it's not active and I could start that quest. It will just not appear in the upper right-hand corner. That That's that's it. That's it. Is there any others that... No, I think that's it. It's the frat party. The next journal page and the airport. Oh yeah. Turn that off. Chemistry station. Let's scrap what we got. All these plans we're learning so quick. And the higher the intelligence, the higher chance that you have to be able to learn a plan when you scrap something. Have we leveled up? We have! I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, let's get some more intelligence, shall we? Have we unlocked? Yeah, okay. This is one I'm definitely going to get right now. Because early game, getting more components whenever you scrap armor and weapons, because you're going to be scrapping a lot of them to begin with, getting this as early as possible is going to help you get what you need. Again, I only highly recommend doing something like this when you have Fallout first. Because that way... 
you're not going to uh, overload your stash. And I have two animated ones for Happy Camper. I'm going to go ahead and rank them up. Why not? You know, I'm not going to be using them. I don't care. Oh, if I had one more luck, I could actually upgrade that. But I don't. So, I won't. You seem to be doing something. I'm going to leave you at it. Oh, while we're here, let's go ahead and... Now, while supplies are available. Sell a bunch of stuff that we ain't going to be using. I know we don't need another one of them. Uh, as for this stuff, we're not going to need the diluted versions, Be really. Sure to stop up uh, Rad X, we going to keep a couple. We don't need that many stealth boys. And they weigh a good amount. That's it. Yeah. Are there don't any other plans that we have picked up that we can learn proper. that I'm not aware of? Okay. We're good. We're good. How oh, you scare me every... What now? He won't go back outside? He won't go back outside? Now he wants to go back outside. <sighs> Alright, hold on. Uh, oh. Excuse me. Better hide in the corner real quick. And once again, I will be right back.
apologize again. Alright, I am back. I am back. Hopefully, we're good. We still alive? We're still alive. Cool. Okay. Back to the airport. I already killed a couple of them, but I know there are more. I know y'all are hiding. That. Been packing a blood pack, thank you. Super stim pack, ooh. I heard another rat. <laughs> Our bullets. That's what's inside you. Thought I heard another one. Hmm. Healing cell. Impact. Oh, let's go inside. Finish food. Finish food. There we go. Let's see about maybe. Okay, that's cooked. I'm going to eat that. Drink some more tea, refresh. That. Eat a little bit, get some food going. Get rid of the moldy food. I'm gonna eat that. It's the mash. Got it. Pork and beans. Alright, we are fully. Did I. I did not grab any popcorn. Damn. Oh well. Do I have any? I do have some bubble gum. So my hunger will go. Well, I'm not going to worry about it, actually. We should be out of there by the time our hunger and thirst meter go down. Hopefully. Pick up a little. I'm gonna bow. Oh, fuck! Don't scare me like that. Definitely could use some ammo, thank you. Battle plan! Establish fronts at baggage claim, arrivals, and gates. Find anything solid and begin barricading. Baggage claim should pull back to utility. Hold out there as long as you can before regrouping at arrivals. Arrivals retreat point is security. Get everyone in and lock the gate behind you. If all else fails, everyone fall back to command. Good luck. 
I guess we were uh, a bit late for the responders. Cool. I don't know if we have that color hard hat. Get him. Still more? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Don't you growl at me. You came from underneath. What were you doing down there? Gold. Did you say gold or cold? Ugh. Here's one of the hacking things. Okay. I'm going to try this again. B because we also have a higher intelligence, there are less duds out here. Alright, so we're going to start off with hand. Hand is like blueness of one, so let's see here. Try base. No. Hmm. What about wall? We're in. Before we go down that way, though, Let's head off this way. Oh, I know where that leads. We could actually double back. So, yeah, let's go this way. Hi! Is there a. No, there's not a uh, crafting station. There is one up here, I think. Yes. In before we even leave this room with all this loot. Dang it. Um, not gonna complain. But I don't really need all the food. So I should stop spamming as much. What fun is that? I was thinking there was something else up here. Hmm. Go ahead and scrap everything again. You're kidding me. I had the element of surprise on him and I fucked it.
All right. Because, yeah, it would have come up. Those sheriff brought us right up here. So, it really wouldn't have mattered. Just we wouldn't have been able to access that room if we did not go the way we did. Hello? Nada. Okay. Now we don't have the card reader. We need to find the card, which is right down this road. Again! Crawling out of nowhere. Don't need radiation, thank you. And there's the card. Closet note! Be quiet. They don't know we're in here. Are we all that's left? I think so. What do we do? They'll leave eventually, right? We could be in here for a few days. There are op other options we have. We're screwed no matter what. I'll distract them long enough for you to escape. Just give it some time. I'm doing this. Be ready. Please, no. No! Well, uh, I guess... It didn't work out too well, unfortunately. Alright, we got the card though. We can continue on. There's another one. We're doing okay though. On my aim's not. That's nothing new. Hey, we got our first legendary. So what a legendary is is uh, the same basic weapon. In this case, it is. Wait, did it not pick it up? There we go. But. Where is it? There it is. Uh, it will have a special effect. So this will be just like another black powder blunderbuss. But it is a one star. It can go up to three stars. I hear they're going to be adding a fourth star. Uh, some weapons have a hidden effect as well. But your general legendary weapon will only have up to three stars. Uh, this one's a one star. And the only effect it has is, if not in combat, you have a 100% VAT accuracy at a 50% action point cost. So that could come in somewhat handy if you're initiating a fight and you have a lot of action points. That can come in handy. You see all that glowing stuff on the ground? That is flammable. You know what, let's go ahead and take care of that right now.
if those containers were there and we were just walking through, like, during the firefight, oh, we would have died. Guaranteed. Any goodies in here? No? Ooh, sneak cola. Much radiation. Not what I need. Alright. Storage room controls. See if we can look out. Start off with the first one. I always, always start off with the first one. That would be why. Alright. Just going over inventory, blank hollow tapes, all that good stuff. Uh, requisition orders, please remember the use the access to the storage room is now handled by a case-to-case -case basis. Okay, remember to lock it up. No on perishables. Note on hollow tapes. Thanks for understanding. Good stuff. Oh, we want to open the door. Now, before before I go in there and, and do the looting and whatnot. Remember, this game can be rather morbid, so be wary. Responder corpse, and they have a hollow tape. Responder's personal log. It's been a few hours. I can hear them clawing at the door. Maybe they're trying to get in. Oh, I locked myself in a storage closet, but... I don't think the door opens from the inside. It's okay. Everything is okay. Acute stress reaction. Panic and emotional distress. Breathe. Breathe. I would guess it's been 24 hours since the attack. The sound of combat has... Is it stopped? They're still outside. I have roughly 8 to 10 weeks. Provided source of fluids. Starvation on set within 10 days. Effects of psychological shock are ongoing, but repressed. I can worry about PTSD later. I, I believe it's been three days. Three nights. Adrenaline has dissipated. I'm so thirsty. I'm, I'm so hungry. I still can't unlock the door. Must conserve strength. Using energy to bang on the door, Ariella has proven wasteful. A source of fluid nourishment has not been found. No one is coming. No one is, is coming for me. My friends are all dead. Children were born into this violent world. And <laughs> they left so violently from it. My God. Never, never leave. Don't. I feel hungry. Oh, there. Here we go. Yeah. A lot of these, um... As I said, it can get rather morbid. That wasn't even the worst of them. But we're in here. 
I think we're okay. Maria's last words. My name is Maria Chavez. And I am about to die. Scorched have overrun our defenses. There. I went for us all. If you find this, please listen carefully. We were called the responders. After the bombs fell, we tried, tried to help people. Maybe I can still help you. The terminal nearby, it, if it's still there, use it. Learn about the inoculation project. It might just save your life. Oh, shit! They're, they're here! They're here! I'm out of time. Read the terminal. Learn about the Scorched. Remember us. And good luck. Yeah. All right, we got it. We got the next overseer log, Morgantown. Overseer's log, Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I've walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even... Find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. It looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer, signing off. Got some new plans. And also y'all may have seen a little bit of movement. Got I can't pronounce your name. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's peaceful here. Quiet too. I like that. Before the war, the world was just too loud. Well, well. Another visitor to the responders graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Come to pay your respects to the fallen? Who are you? Name's Dontrell. Dontrell. Dontrell Haynes. I got a brother around here somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know, he was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the worms. Ah, uh, I hear you, but that's also why we gotta try to make our lives count for something. That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me? I just looked out for myself. Now I'm still alive, and he's long gone. Did his life count for something? I don't really know. He and other responders saved a lot of folks, but they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memories, and even those will fade in time. Anyway, 
Guess you listen to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? We could ask him for some more supplies, but I feel bad enough as it is. You can go ahead and keep your supplies, but I do got some questions for you. What would you like to know? You mentioned the brother? Marcus. Five years younger than me. Star running back in high school. And handsome, too. Had all the ladies chasing him. He followed me into the army. Became an MP. Then got out and moved to Morgantown. Signed up with the police. Back then, I was still living in Cincinnati. We talk on the radio. He tried to get me to come out here and join the responders more than once. I do miss him. You know, this place is pretty dangerous, though. Why are you staying here? Well, I don't think it matters much how dangerous this place is. If one of those mutants don't get me, cancer will. But I guess what keeps me here is just knowing this is where my brother died. Call me a superstitious old fool, but... I don't want my spirit to have to walk too far to find his. I hear you. Uh, what else do you know about the area, though? I know it's a ruined wasteland filled with a hundred things that want to eat you. It's better this way. Less noise, less fuss, just echoes. In time, nature takes it all back. One day, nobody will know there was ever a city here. In the short term, well, you got the train station with the robot who can sell you supplies. And south of that, the train yard might be good for salvage. And of course, Morgantown's just across the river. Probably lots of useful stuff over there, if you can survive. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, map updated Morgantown, there we go. Well, what else can you tell me about the responders other than your brother? They used to be cops. Firefighters, medics. Marcus always made them sound like good folk. They looked after other people as best they could. This was their base, as far as I can tell. They got overrun by those things out in the hall. Found a few bodies in here and set up a little memorial. There was a lady named Chavez. Got a holler tape she made on that map table. Last words by the sound of it. I ain't been here that long. So that's about all I know. I got you. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time, my friend. Time's all I got left. But I don't mind sharing it. You be safe out there. All right. Now all we got left, I think we're done with... Oh, no. Learn about the inoculation project, which I think we can actually do right here. Fire breathers are recruiting. Job's not for everyone. There's basically the the hot shots. Um, Cause you got your normal firefighters. Well, you got your elite firefighters. If you want to, you know, try to label it. The hot shots are the anyway. Personal file. Senior members. Just going through all the lists of the people. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Other members. Jerry, Derek, Veronica, Felix, David, Ryan, Kevin. Plank number 15. We don't need to worry about all that. Messages. It's going to go Larry Pickman. If y'all played the fourth one, you know about Pickman. You know about Pickman. Dealing with the Brotherhood. We're going to be having to deal with the Brotherhood here soon enough. And announcement. Rachel. I like this. Right. Go back. Spence rations. You can only get it once. Okay, all right, no worries. You can go to got sweet roll and purified water. Right. Never mind then. Never mind. I guess there's nothing else. There was another hollow tape over here, wasn't there? Yeah. Fort on Harper's ferry attack. Hey everyone. This is Derek. Making my final report. Very. Hopefully this reaches you all safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. The whole area is, it's, it's devastated. If any 
see if our people survived. I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed or something. They apparently turned into monsters and attacked anyone they could reach. That's a scorch piece of the giant bat we were hiding from in the tower. He'll keep playing once we get out. Even with how old this game is, using an old engine, computer still struggles with it. Riley says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in their bunkers and try to figure out a way to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these Free States guys. Maria, I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella. See if maybe she can lean on Riley a little. To see that this isn't the way. If you ask me, I, I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us. On people who need their help to survive. Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. Guess we can scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. But I, I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. Uh, I'm just coming over here to unlock these locations, really. Side pub. I heard you. I heard you. Maybe a little bit. I'm not completely deaf. I hear you. Hi, everybody. Don't mind me. Now what I find funny, I saw it on the way down, like, I've made, you know, no secret about how much I like to loot. Okay, this industrial cleaner, where am I going to put it? Ain't going to fit in my backpack. Where'd it go? Game logic. Got love. No. Foreside hub, happy hour menu. Count Frank Seagull Wings, Fried Calamari, Barnacle Burger, Pound O'Peel, and Eat Shrimp. Hmm. Sea Shanty Salad, Toaster Water. Sounds like a decent menu. Of course, they had a shoddy underneath the, the counter. Because why not? Steeped fern flower tea. Oh, we actually already have a chef's hat, but can we? We can't break. All right, we're good. Wait, was there? No, it's just a bottle. Okay. Over here, unlock this location. Right. I'm not gonna worry about looting it. There's not really a lot. Of, I've gone there quite often. That's Mama Dolce's. Uh. Dog food? Yeah, well, just food processing. But that's where you get a lot of dog food. And there's an event that will happen there periodically. Scavenger, okay. Um, that I always do that event. We have to cut through. We kind of do. To get, get up there. 
Okay. Let's just try to be... Can we take these? We can take the party hats. They're mine. Let's go around. Just a feral I'm not worried about. Multiple ferals though. A little bit of a different story. Can we even go through this way? We can. Okay. Cool. Oh, hi. Pardon me. Don't mean to bother you. Oh fuck. The game can still scare me after all this time. I'm gonna be a little bit more picky for a little bit on what I loot. So we don't have... Ooh, I could always teleport back. But I don't wanna... Have to worry too much about constantly doing it. All of those are good. Let's check up here, see if there's any goodies we can take. Someone was doing some testing. <sighs> Ah, that's what I was afraid of. I'm gonna loot everything now, it don't matter. Oh, we need to come up here anyway. The inoculation project announcement. Folks, I have some exciting news to share. As you all know, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her research in the lab at ARV Medical. Well, she just reported in to let us know that she's made a significant breakthrough. And it looks like the inoculation against the scorched plague could become a reality soon. Let's all keep our fingers crossed and make sure to do everything we can to help Claire complete her work. Our very survival depends on it. And yeah. Sports research, going to production, that's a lot of reading. Sports beast, that's even more reading. And the plague, that's a lot of reading. And of course, tactics, a bullet to the head. That's my tactic. And I think these were on, yeah, those were on the... We just got a new weapon, the Summer Set Special, by completing that quest. Sweet. Psych Eval, Olivia P. Henderson. That did not... Hmm.
Why is that? Oh, it's level 15. That's why. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't play. Okay. All that uh, medicine patient started. Yeah, I think I caught it pretty good though. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of talking. Subject is we're resourceful. Okay, that's probably the person on the table. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, if I remember right, there's actually a workbench in here. Yes. Fix camping program bugs, check flatwood kiosk for issues, get Gary a gift for his next visit, and take another chair to the camp. Okay. In the bathroom. Kiosk. I must be able to process seven dozen volunteers a day. Uh, teach them basic skills, using time donated by local responders, contacts, Kesha and Delbert. Both are willing to be the model for this program. Supply. Delivered part of the supply shipment to the safe as requested. Wasn't sure you, you were guessing you're out in the woods again somewhere. I don't see your robot anywhere either, so I figure you're safe. I'm going to see if Maria needs me to take anything back to Flatwoods, so I'll be around for a day or two. Find me, miss you, Garrett. Okay. Oh. Sweet Bean. At my camp, Maria is giving me a sanity day so I can relax. Join me. I hope you brought some of that comfort food from Flatwood so we can have a picnic. Don't worry, if any volunteers stop by to learn stuff, the robot should be able to take care of them. I wrote a whole program to deal with that so I can actually relax and enjoy the great outdoors with you. Love you, dear heart, I'm Miguel. Ooh, we got another fusion core. Sweet. Alright, so we are, see, what is this one? I studied Dr. Hutchinson's research. Is that this exact one? Oh no, register for advanced responder training. Okay. We have available training, building camps. We already kind of done that, haven't we? Somewhat? I think we have. I swore I've built a camp. I don't need to find that. Same one. Find the off. Okay. Uh, listen to volunteer. Tr they gave us one without actually starting. What the hell? Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Camping. By Miguel Caldera. Robot Programmer Extraordinaire. Part 1. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be that camping was safe as house. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. 
perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or uh, build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often. And rest a lot. Before the war, I was gonna retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day. Forever. It's a dream come true. You know, do what you love, right? Now come to my camp, and I can show you some knots and framing techniques. Then, I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. Sounds good to me. Hey, Miguel, did you hear something? Of course not, because you're dead. How lovely of you, Mr. Fluffy. It's just so odd to see humans again. Well, the non-rotten kind, anyway. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program holotape. Find them and return here. You know, I've been tethered to Miguel for years. Find a safe spot. Years. Be sure to look Ending for a fresh animal or human droppings nearby. And oh fuck. You know what? I hate camping. Remember, if you find doo doo, better shoo shoo. Use recycled materials to construct your tent. Find scraps just about anywhere. While well, have a camp, cooking stations, even your own stash. Yep. Assignment right students should check in with any local responder to build a camp in the camp. Volunteers should construct a simple cooking station in a stash box. Demonstrate their knowledge to the local responder. Okay. And back down we go. Okay. I heard somebody breathing. Okay, 3.4. Take that. Two of them. I'm we'll taking both. Good, why not? Miguel's terminal. The schematics. Downloading the schematic to the remote storage device. Okay. Uh, bug reports. That's a lot of bugs. What about safe control? Let's disengage the lock to the safe. Where is the safe? 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 Cooking spit. Okay. I'll take it. Sweet. Ooh, ooh, that was my last bullet. In that clip. Yeah. Alright. Go back and do some scrapping. Chef's hat. 
One of them is clean, one of them not, so we're gonna hold on to both of them. Get rid of one of the party hats. Crap all the other junk. Okay. We're still getting really low, so we're gonna have to go back here soon. Well, really, we don't have to, actually. Where is... Down there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Get our survival tent out. See if we can find a good spot. So the game will allow us to put it down. Definitely on, not on a hill. That ain't gonna happen. Camping wasn't there we go. For everyone, but now that everything I is there we go. destroyed, it's quite literally now for everyone living the dream, right, Miguel? Um, 125 pounds down to 65. And with the ammo, 62. Well, let's go ahead and actually drop everything out. All the apparel. Now I can see in the extra. Okay, they are the same. We already have our party hat, actually. And that's it. Food and drink. Didn't we pick up a couple more? No, they would be under eight, I think. Yeah, we got two and four. So we're, we're starting to get our comics. Starting to. We have not found a single bobblehead yet, though. Miguel, I told you, don't make that chili nearby. It smells too good. I could detect it from the airfield. Why? Didn't you listen? Oh, I'll take you that. What got him? Got if you. your can doesn't have all the necessities, consider using irradiated garbage to add that special touch. Demonstrate your can expertise and build a generator to power electric devices such as lights. Oh, we can remember. To connect the devices with a wire, it's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so <laughs> uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. Ah, that sucks for you. Alright, well we can fast travel back here. For us to continue the quest, we need to go back to our camp, build a generator, even though we already have one. We can just build another one, scrap it to get some of the parts back. Because we really only need one generator. We only need one. As long as it provides enough juice, you know what I'm saying? And while we're here, we can actually see how much our Collectron... Yeah, that's maxed out. Oh yeah, you gotta do some stuff. Get some more candy. I'm gonna need some more nice tea, place. coffee, and some water. Build that generator. Just build a small one. There we go. And that gave us a legendary. Hmm. Interesting. They're going to continue with another one? I think. Oh, register for more advanced responder training. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's right. We leveled up. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get the intelligence up to probably around 10 and then start investing the points in everything else that's what I'm thinking these are the new ones, none of them that I really I get that later action boy may be a good idea 
Hmm. I'm definitely thinking action boy. Why do they keep assigning me demons? How am I gonna make night without one? Because yeah, uh, all of the others. Traction boy to get our AP back faster. Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough agility. My bad. So it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, uh. Oh. Big shack built. Like, what the hell? Well, I think we're good. How are we on Kindred Spear? Only got 45 oh. minutes left. Let's go ahead, re up on all of it while waiting. I'm gonna grab a drink. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret it. <sighs> but I wanna keep going. Alright, we probably got the bonus. There's no guarantee we did. Let me double check. Kindred Spirit, three hours. I'm not playing that long? Damn. I'm not gonna worry about getting everything else. Not right now, at least. Not right now. That's the main one. I just wanna get the experience. Right, now. Fast travel back. Oh, I love that nos. Oh. Straight. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm go this way. This way, right? Yeah. We haven't even found our. First suit of power armor. Look at all that popping. Slowly spawning in. Alright, next responder training. Advanced responder training. Pearl supplies. Okay. Safe for work. Listen to Hollow Tape Patrol One. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced training. Secure the supplies by Kesha McDermott. Volunteer responders like you must help stock our supplies regularly. If any of our caches are depleted, well, we'll run into a heap of trouble. Since this is your first time on patrol, I will walk you through it. First, head to the triage center. This exercise will take you around the primary Morgantown airport. Now you will want to restock these caches regularly. Will do. not respawned here yet. I'm not gonna complain. 
Okay, require the terminal. Safe control, disgage the lock. Busy work. Gotcha. Pro 2, triage center. Good work, volunteer. The triage center sees the heaviest of casualties, so the supplies here are probably always running low. Restock, then head out to the tarmac. Responder Rocky set up in the processing camp in a cargo container. <laughs> hey, you are doing good work, volunteer. I know it's tough to walk through the wounded and just restock shelves, but we yeah. need you to do this. Other responders will take care of them. We need people to depend on. If we're all safe, then we can rebuild anything. The world isn't destroyed, you know. It just needs our help. Anyway, the next supply cache has a key, but you need to pick it up from Responder Rocky. Just tell him that Kesha has you doing patrols. Will do. Rocky, Kesha sent me. Thank you. He didn't give me any problem at all. Processing center. Now start heading over to the medical center. You want to keep your patrols pretty quick so the responder database doesn't lock you out. We use the processing center to hold food and drink supplies for any new survivors brought back for triage. So it's real important to keep stocked. It's been such chaos keeping things well stocked. Since the scorched, well, since the bombs, seems like forever now. Like I used to tell my students, things are always a different kind of tough, and so are you. You only need to be tough enough to make it. But the addendum is, you also need to have resources and support to make it, and nobody can make it entirely alone. Okay? Now, go on to the clinic. Hmm. If you look in the lower right, see the gun is red. That means my weapon is almost broken. I'm gonna have to repair that. While you're here, ask the doctors if they have any special supply requests. After that, head over to the control tower for your last stop. As you can clearly see, we need to constantly restock all of these supplies to keep our heads above water. And there's just no signs of it getting any quieter anytime soon. The control tower is on the tarmac and it's your final patrol stop. I am so glad we established the volunteer program. We've gotten many good responder volunteers this way. Dasa does good work in Flatwoods. Melody Larkin, dispatch. It's been a hell of a week, I tell ya. We lost more good people fighting off those damn scorched things again. Now I got Shabbos telling me we're picking up a new radio signal. Someone's asking for help. She wants me to take my team and follow it till we find them. Can't be too far. Already tracked it gaining strength south of here. Problem is, we have to go straight on through Raider country to find them. And I don't have the time or men to spare right now. So, I hate to say it, but I gotta tell her it ain't gonna happen. Not now. My team's the last line of defense. And if I take them on some wild goose chase, we're leaving ourselves open for another Christmas flood situation. And you can bet your ass I ain't gonna let that happen again. Even if it means someone out there might need us. Oh, man alive. Changed. All right. Uh... Monitoring, no traffic, vertebrae, all that good stuff. Patrol bulletin. 
Incoming resources. Bunch of stuff. What about requests? Listen to patrol number five. That wasn't so hard, right? Miguel has programmed some of the bots to restock the supply caches, but nowhere near the rate that we need. So, the goal is that we pull in volunteers to do at least one patrol for formal advanced training. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. When you log into the responder database, you'll be able to look up additional caches. Oh. Thank you for your service, volunteer. And remember, helping others will help yourself. And we got another legendary. I think that finished that quest line, too. Sweet. I didn't even realize there is a pin gun turret up there. We could probably repair it and help us defend the area, but not entirely needed. Excuse me. But before we actually go back, isn't there a weapons workbench in here? Yeah. We need... Yeah, it's almost broken. Go ahead, inspect, repair, shabam. Still so many plans we're learning. Alright. Let's keep it going, going, going. How long have I been? Four hours. No wonder I'm starting to feel the burn. Oh, really? Really, game? Okay. Pardon me. Let's see, which one's that one? So let's find the next journal at the high school to we'll go to the the party. I think we'll go first getting the journal. And we may finish up with the party. Cute. Ooh, someone didn't know how to drive. Some do drivers. You all saw nothing. You all saw nothing. Shit, they're everywhere. Into the school. <laughs> journal entry three. Overseer's personal journal. I was in my junior year when I got the news that Mom died. Mining accident. Everyone in West Virginia has a story like that in the family. You just... You never think it's gonna be you. Dad was in pieces. I started living in the library more than before. 
And I was already there most days to begin with. And Evan. Oh, God. Evan. Mom had introduced us just a few months before. Graduated a year ahead of me, just went right to work in the mines. So handsome. Oh, and those arms. What West Virginia girl could resist all that? Now, it didn't look like there was any other mission actually inside. It was just apparently grab it and we could go. There's probably a good amount of loot that was in there and stuff like that. So I may end up coming back there at another point and looting. Uh, if y'all really do want to watch me build and or loot. I, I guess I could stream it. But if you don't, then I'm not going to worry about it. So a lot of it's just, you know, busy work. Just a be the busy work. I can't believe he stuck with me. After the funeral, I didn't want anyone around. But there he was. Showing oh. up in the library after his shift. I didn't realize. For us to share. Every day. When the career <laughs> fair came, and I met the people from Twitch Baltimore, froze on my phone. It was like a light turned on. Protecting Anyone been saying anything? Protecting their future? Protecting Negative. America? Not that I can see. The first thing I did okay. when I got the acceptance letter to Vault Tech University was head over to Mom's grave with Dad. He was happy, I was sure. So was I. No, thank you. I'm not interested. There's the party. We'll probably finish with the party. Oh, we got to level 15. Why can I not hit them? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I see you up there. Damn feral. Now we're gonna go to... the university. Get that done and then probably double back. For the party. A lot of good stuff in here. A little makeshift market. Free caps, thank you very much. Locations. Oh, this is um one of the other quests. Got the university, and then got this one. We can actually unlock. There it is. Party poster. Oh, that's not the one. There's one for a quest in there, and uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. In fact, I think actually I built what I needed to back at the camp to be able to get that quest. Hi, person. Gilbert Hobson. Ah, oh, what a magnificent place this once was. The very epicenter of learning here in Appalachia. 
Truly. Nothing is as valuable as a good education. Ah, intelligence plus eight. We got. We actually got it. Uh, Benjamin Franklin once said, "An investment is knowledge. In knowledge, pays the best interest." Well said. Well said, indeed. It's so good to meet a fellow devotee of the humanity. I don't mind saying that enlightened minds such as yours and mine are like so in desperate short supply of late. So, what brings you here to the hallowed halls of vault University? Uh, searching for knowledge? Uh, foraging for supplies? Or perhaps some secret mission you can't talk about? I'm here to meet someone, a woman with glasses and gray hair. How do we know what she looks like? Well, I guess we did live with her for years. Not only have I seen her, we had a pleasant conversation just a short while ago. She went inside the school. I do hope she's safe. Got any supplies you could share with a fellow enlightened mind? Normally, I'd have to politely refuse your request. But I think we've forged a bond, you and I. Give me the good. like two sailors navigating a stormy ocean of ignorance on a dark night, seeking the bright beacon of knowledge to guide us to safe harbor. Here, a gift for a fellow seeker of wisdom. What we get? Pleasure. Very mentash, okay. Well, I got a couple questions. Ask away. Oh, it's just... never mind. Very well. Was there anything else? Nah, but I appreciate your time. Thank you. Certainly. It was a genuine pleasure. Got any goodies in here? Nothing I want. Alright, let's go. Go all sneaky-like. You never know what kind of horrors you may come across. How did the mole rat climb through concrete like that? I still hear movement. Hmm, it's cold cherry. Oh, I'm curious, what other... Oh yeah, we gotta build the trap. And that one, I may end up doing that one on my other character. Maybe. That one's not needed though, to... Finish. Unidentified intruder detected. For the, uh, Beginning search. For the gold star. Oh. Journal entry number four. Overseer's personal journal. Four years of living, learning, and breathing vault tech. Graduating with honors in the overseer track. Dad was so proud. Came out even though he was already so sick. I must have impressed the right people because I was offered the next available overseer slot. I had just graduated. It was supposed to take years. 
maybe they knew the war was inevitable. When I learned that 76 was going to be built, I was so excited I jumped right out of my chair and did a little dance around the living room. Appalachia would be safe no matter what happened. Evan chose that moment to propose, a lughead. He knew I wouldn't say no after hearing the news. He knew me better than anyone. Dad died a few months after Evan and I moved in together. He really wanted to walk me down the aisle. Well, I didn't really want to walk down there either, so... Uh, I think it's time I went home. I owe Evan that much. Master Chef Tektron and Assistant Chef Handy. I had to leave you guys to it. But I think... Yeah, that's it for this area. Where's the next... Please entry? step into the open... Oh, all the way down on that... Something different. Law -abiding citizens oh, wow, way down there. Okay. Fear. But we already have this unlock. It's only going to cost a cap to be able to go there. There's a reason why, though, saving this one for last. Ooh. Oh, I need to get that pop out. This is probably one of my favorite effects, if you will, of a quest. Ah, excuse me. That was also another portion of the main character. I just, I dig the outfit. What can I say? Eternity Rue. Couldn't tell it's definitely a frat house. The pie house. Jerks. Wasted on Nuka Shine. Investigate what the party goers were drinking. Eviction notice. Do not attempt to appeal this ruling. Uh, infraction list. Malicious destruction of property. Repeated breach of anti-hazing policies. Furnishing alcohol to minors. Multiple fire code. Health code. Disorderly conduct. Failure to maintain proper lawn care. Failure to acknowledge eviction notices. Pretty much your typical frat house. Ooh, some free war money. I'll take that, thank you. Anything good? No. We'll take the toaster, though. I'll take the cap, thank you very much. Thank you. Tin foil hat. I think this is the only place where you can find that tin foil hat. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Run, little rad roach. You already have plenty of chef's hat. I will take uh, the satchel though. Mint bucket. Swirling goggles. I don't think I have that yet. Have that kind of cough, cough cap.
Mannequin. You know I like you. The brothers like you too. Usually my fourth favorite, Paimu. But listen, the whole mannequin thing has got to stop. It was funny at first. We laughed along with you. Brought it home from the department store. Thought it was a little weird when you named it Susie. Started taking it down to dinner. But I've ever floated your boat, right? The last few days though, honestly, Badger, I don't even know what to say. Called a meeting, decided that Susie needs to. Damn it, you've got me calling the stupid thing Susie now. Look, just get rid of the mannequin. Let me ask nicely, John. I mean, if that's the only kind of love that that guy was able to find, you can't really hate him for it. Feel bad. I can sympathize. Can't empathize, but I can sympathize. I think I got that right. Ooh, get some dumbbells. Ted's terminal. Uh, some messages. Nuka shine. By the way, joke five was not funny. Nuka shine is going to make your eviction party the event of the year. So no more cheap jokes at his expense. Recommendation. That's great news. Person always hungover. A drink that will make you per uh, permanently hungover. Okay. Oops. Got to include my name. Imagine me forgetting something that important. Such a request. Again. Forgot the name again. It's Charlie. Do you even care? Reading this message, Ted. No, you're not. Here I am. Still typing them up for you so you know. I also typed up a recommendation for Charlie. Join. Pi Cap of Moo. Ain't no saying, so I'm leaving. I want to stop being selfish and try to do something good for the world. Good for you. Newsletter. This is about the reason why they were getting evicted. Bylaw amendment proposal. No pranking other. But this is basically the rules. Okay. Here's the drink. The vintage Nuka Shine. We're supposed to drink it first. Let's check out the remaining of the remaining of the place. Make sure it's cleared out. Activate the jukebox. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I turned off all the music, so that way, hopefully, I don't get no copyright strike or nothing. Advisor, patrolman glasses, definitely. That, another person with a cooking pan on their head. Pledges. That were handcuffed to the pipes. No wonder you guys got uh, in trouble for it. Final initiation. It's been, it's been he saw his arm off. Days. Who the hell knows it? Trapped. Bubblehead. Bubblehead. Does everyone, does everyone drink that goddamn drink? Um, this was our final initiation. Me, and my uh. Buddy Max over there. Locked in here for the party and then and we were golden. You know, just one one last test. They passed out red cups at the end. So to, to celebrate. I called it Gashai. Yeah. Dumb mine out when they weren't looking. Max here. He did. Everyone was um fine at first. Until, uh, until they weren't. Oh, that sound, I, uh, I will never forget that damned sound. I, I, uh, I can't. Oh.
Oh, and then in an old saw that won't cut through shit. I'm stuck here. Fellow old Max Posey. I gotta think of something soon. Max, he's he's a swell guy, but um. All right, let's go ahead and drink it. Vintage Nuka Shine. Oh, damn. Experience the effect of Nuka Shine often clear out party crashers. Party crashers! Oh, fuck. Where y'all come from? Unfortunately, it's also gotten rid of the music for... What's going on? That's unfortunate. Got all the party crashers. I don't see nobody else. Never mind, there we go. There's another one. There we go. We got them all. With what was it, 25 seconds left. On the clock. We got plenty of time. Plenty. Yeah, we already checked out the bridge. Anything else for us to really loot that we have not checked out yet? Nope. Doesn't matter. Half the fun of Nuka Shine is that you never know what kind of crazy places it will take you. That's what vintage Nuka Shine will do. You will black out and appear at random locations throughout the world. So yeah, the few people I've played the game with, what we would like to do, there's a container you can put the Nuka Shine in. We would all sit down at a table, drink Nuka Shine, So we ended up on stage, all these different different hats, yeah, anywhere you see this bottle could be where you spawn. But yeah, so we ended up, we were down here, we ended up all the way up here, right next Read the Nuka Shine label. Huh. Gone. I ain't gone. I'm right here. Okay, solve the riddle. Add our Elmo Master, all that blah 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 blah, all that good stuff. It takes us to where we needed to go before. But before I go, I want to go over here and unlock this spot. Excuse me. There we go. It's Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. This is where we need to go. Let me get rid of... ...that.
After we get this done, I'm definitely probably going to be calling it. Do I need to lay down? My body's definitely not happy with me. But like you streaming literally a third day in a row. You started off really strong with going over six hours. Ooh. Just in case I can't remember if there's anything. Yep, this is it. Solve the riddle. Riddle has been solved. Nuka shine. What a trip. I've taken every drug in the wasteland. Daddy O, Mentad's day tripper, they each have their ups and downs, but Nuka shine took me on a ride. I didn't expect it. Not from a swig of Appalachian hooch. I grew up on that stuff. Kentucky will do that to you. It was it was almost like a betrayal. The first sip had the same familiar burn. Then it kicked you in the head like a two-ton Brahmin, and it was all downhill from there. Colors that I didn't know existed flashed before my eyes. The trees around me morphed into ravenous ghouls. Beset on all sides, I reached for my gun and pulled a Tato from the holster. Useless thing, I shouted. By then, the ghouls had me. There was little I could do. I took off my shoe and beat him with it to no avail. I decided to succumb. Just, just devour me. I thought, well, what's the use of struggling at this point? Maybe some lucky cannibal will happen upon my scraps and get a free meal. At least that would give my death some meaning. I, I let my mind wander as my body ceased to be a cool breeze on the Florida coast. The splashing of the Mississippi, the green hills of Appalachia. A violent storm in the distance. I, I drifted from one to the next as my flesh broke into a thousand tiny pieces of ghoul fodder. Suddenly, sunlight. I sat up. I, I was whole on, on the temporal plane. Far too pleasant a place to be hell, Appalachia. Green hills from my vision. The crisis was over. I was still alive with an empty jug of Nuka shine by my side. Okay. So I was also kind of trying to highlight and pinpoint the hints towards what we got to look at. Bam. It's like a good old speakeasy. This one specifically is not for your regular kind of alcohol. It's for a very specialized type of alcohol. Well, we're in Lois anyway. We didn't get to talk much. Um... I'd like to tell him how swell I'm doing. I'd like to introduce Biv. Here in a second. After I finish loot and everything. Another comic. Astoundingly awesome. Hi, right, Bill. What's up, my friend? Well, if life ever does get you down, don't be afraid to consult old Bibby Ridge about what's eating you. Bibby Ridge, beverage. Excuse me there. I could, I could, you know, really use a hand, and you got more than just the one. Yep, yep, yep. Hi, Bib. I'm Bib. And Bibby Ridge is the number one alcohol quality testing robot brand and all of happens at Happy Happy Stand. Happy Late Chip. 
Well, this juice joint's premier drink, Nuka Shine, is long overdue for a bib quality test. Would you be a nice fella and whip me up a batch of Nuka Shine so I can do my job, please? I do have the recipe right here, but I think I might have sort of kind of dropped part of it in the lock supply room. Don't be me! Read the Nuke Shine ingredient. Okay, we need five corn, five razor grain, five wood for fuel. To boil water, one nuke cola quantum. My Access terminal. Nice the supply room talking about beer. Love you all. We're gonna have There's to insist on this. Need you all professionals, all that good stuff. For beer, beer is a prototype. More importantly, please do not tell anyone about them. All that good stuff. Security door. Now we need to go here to get the other half of the password. Fortunately, there is no crafting station for us down here that we can hit up to be able to do some fast traveling. Oh, excuse me. Now it's going to take a while to load again. I may actually be calling it here. Where is it again? That way. Let's first see if, um, can we put our tent over here? It'd be nice, kind of doubt it. Ah, the tent. One. Damn it. No, it says we can. It's not going to allow us to do it. Why, game? It's like you say I can, but then I can't. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of ghouls around here. Let's go further back, maybe? Probably not. There we go. Oh, we're good on ammo now. I thought I was doing horrible. But we're good. We're good. In the next episode of Fallout 76, I will probably end up, now that we've leveled up and whatnot, getting some better perks. 
we may be ready to hit up the raiders camp oh fuck like I heard it but another sorority I don't know if it's sorority or a frat I protectron, okay. Well, you're not aggressive. Fermentation is a metabolic process that produces chemical changes in organic substrates through the action of enzymes. That is correct. We need to talk. As far as the person I know, the Nucleon Project would be nowhere without you. I know that. When you told us you need a little extra space to think, we gave you that, no question asked. It's just, we thought you needed space to think, not space to develop your hobby. Well, hobby is generous, it's more of an obsession at this point. Every genius is entitled to their e idiosyncrasies, but we could really use this space for pledges. I wish we could talk in person, but nobody knows how to find you these days. You get in touch, miss the old Lewis, the not crazy one. Dude. Nuka Cola obsessed. Gotcha. Personal log. Timestamp 11207613444. My special edition Nuka Cola lamp arrived in satisfactory condition. After a few modifications, I am greatly pleased. I clearly now have the greatest Nuka Cola collection in the city. But I've pushed the capacity of this meager hovel to the limit. Solution. I need to procure a warehouse in Morgantown for further expansion. But first, I need the proper financial capital. I clearly need to strategize a successful commercial enterprise. University students are plentiful, but what do they want? Aha, proposal. Students love alcohol, and I love Nuka-Cola. I shall formulate a high-proof distilled spirit with Nuka-Cola, the perfect beverage. Hmm, it just needs a name. Nuka-Hall, Nuka, Nuka Mash, Nuka Brew? Uh, I'll get to that part later. How about Nuka Shine? That lamp that you were so happy about? That's actually an atomic shop item, which I have. Hello? Another Protectron. I also have all these little pieces that I can build. Normally they're just scrap. I'm gonna take anyway. That would be an awesome game of chess to be able to have, by the way. I would love to be able to play a game of chess with, uh... With those. I haven't played chess in ages. Uh, I got nobody to play with. I guess I could always play online, but meh. Last one what we gotta look at. We're gonna hold off, we're gonna loot. And then we're gonna check it out. There's another one down here. Oh, it's just the kitchen. Fine then. Came up that way. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Judy's terminal. Ah, the journal of Robo Brain. 
worry. I'm just gonna cut, okay. Biv. Blames Biv himself for him so bad. Can't have a word of getting out about him. Got to keep his new pledges. All that good stuff. Okay, supply room. This is what we need. Finds out loose. Gotcha. Alright. We got the password. Guideline. All that good stuff. The initiative. Don't care. Alright, let's go back to the supply room. Luckily, we can fast travel. I probably should have used the uh, workbench before it did. Oh, well. I don't think we're really going to be finding much more loot that we haven't already looted. Oh, yes, body, yes, I know, I know, I need to go lay down. We're almost done. So we'll get this quest done. They'll give us a daily after that. We will not be doing the daily. At least for right now. Oh. Oh. Alright, Biv. Got the password. Let me open up the door. Shine. I can get the mission ingredient. Nuclear material. Yes. It's just you, Ben. Just you. Okay, so now we need to gather the ingredients. We need to get some corn and some razor green. We got everything else. We just need the corn and the razor grain. Here's the name. Trinkets game. And I am in first place, old boy. And unfortunately... Okay, now we can get some corn nearby uh, uh, the wayward. The razor grain... There might be some up here. What was that sound? Oh, it's just my treads again. All right, I'm gonna spend a decent amount of caps, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check it out. Oh, I'm getting this like knot right back in. Oh, perfect. Where is? Oh. I know there was some food here. I don't know if it's what we need though. But we are near a place I know we can get some. I didn't kill you? Oh, it works out than I am. Yeah, it doesn't have any of the things we need. To the east, there is. There's a large farm, which in fact may also have our first suit of power armor. We're not going to worry about actually going up to the farm. We're going to go down this way. 
to the field. These insects are so damn difficult to hit. At least for me. So we got all the corn here. And the razor grain should be down the way. We got enough corn. But I'm gonna still head up this way. Up to this little shack area. Because that door's locked. And that's what we want to get in there. Behind me? Oh shit. Now there's a bunch of bees here. They're easy enough to dispose of. Somehow. <laughs> Okay, this is a glitch, by the way. There's normally some more stuff here, but... He's what we need this shed key. Now, to whoever finds my body, the granary shed holds provisions that should last you for a while. Ponder will become your brother Sean and John. Should have gone to Chicago. Watch out for the flying bats. Yes. Definitely watch out for them. There we go. There's the razor grain. Alright, so we got everything that we need to be able to craft some Nuka Shine. Are we going to luck out for our first suit? Ooh, a power armor. And the verdict is negative. There are sometimes a power armor chassis will spawn here. That is unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. Oh well. Alright. We got everything we need before it all expires. Let's go ahead. Fast travel to the survival tent. That way it's free. It would have cost us 11 caps otherwise. Oh. Yeah, definitely after this, I gotta go lay down. I've been pushing myself to stream. But I'm kind of looking forward to see what the results are going to be. For, uh, what I said. We will find out. We will find out. Baby boy, I'm coming. Gonna get your nuka shine on. The ghouls have not respawned. Good, good, good. Excuse me, Dave. Brewing station. Brewing stations can craft liquors and ferment into a drinkable alcohol over time. Now, see, we can make some beer, we can make some bourbon, some whiskey, or. Nuka Shine. They are great. 
Fermenting alcohol will turn to alcohol beverages over time. They age faster if placed in the fermenter. Warning! Experimental equipment. Since Nuka Shine is selling out so quickly, Lewis is working on a flash fermenter to age it faster. It's not ready yet, so for your own safety, please do not touch unless you are Lewis. Serious about this warning. I nearly lost an eye, and I wasn't even operating it. But, I think... Alright. Biv, we got what you need, my friend. Do I smell me a nuka sign? You do. Let me just put that in my environment chamber and... Go, 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 wow. Now that is a drink. Uh, oh, excuse me. Here's the report. Quality rating, blissful, side effects, illness, addiction, permanent brain damage. Uh, you know, the list goes on. It's not great, but you get the idea. Your customers will be raving if you serve this drink. Live? I don't know. But <laughs> do not sweat the details. Won't you come back tomorrow and help me with my daily quality test? I got plenty more recipes to try out. I know you do, Bill. Alright, so now we have also unlocked our own brewing station and fermenter. And we finished all the main quests in this area. Oh, and we leveled up. Go ahead and get that done. Ooh, we leveled up twice. And we got a perk pack. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Shotgunner, first aid, inspirational, and animated lead belly. Rabbit says to the hedgehog, can't you share? You know, no way. I, am a I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright. Um, so we have two points we can distribute. So I still think intelligence is the best way to go. Because the higher the intelligence, the higher the experience you yield for pretty much everything you do. You want to go intelligence? Uh. We already have scrapper equipped, luckily. Let's finish maxing up first aid. Oh, wait. We can do that already. We have enough. We have enough for it. Because if you look, we have one one star, we have one two star. So we're just gonna take the one star, merge it with the two star, we'll get a three star. So probably for uh, some better weapons, go gunsmith. And we'll put the other one in intelligence as well. You know, so we unlock negative. I'm not too shy to say I'm positively pleased to see you. All right. Go ahead, get that. Now we can rank this one up. Well, the bam. Anyway, Perfect. We didn't get Perfect. To talk much. All right. Um, now we can go ahead and scrap this other well, inspirational, like we have a couple of the other perks. Excuse me, per cards. And we already have 10 uh, per coins. Now we got 12. Alright. So I think that is going to be me for the day. I've been going for a little, How long have I been streaming? Five hours. Which is a lot longer than what I normally can do. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> Uh, anyone who comes across the video at a later point, uh, I don't think I really gave as many tips this time around, like I did, uh, in my first, in the first episode, if you will, um, but I try to, any single time, I come around something that I know, like with the, the hacking of the terminals, or the attacks on the map, to where you can click them and find them and whatnot, like, there's still other places, like, we got all the, uh, stations, 
and whatnot. And we haven't been there, but because we checked them out on the map, golden. Um. So yeah, probably going to be streaming again tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be going back into some DVD because the event's still going on, so I may end up streaming some DVD. I may be streaming some Fallout. I don't know. Uh, if anyone wants a, a particular game, let me know. Hit me up on Discord. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna end it here. I right, hit the music and from and and let's see who did it right. Okay, didn't. Do it. Who'll be streaming? And we can, by chance, go send some love. Cool stramen. That's not what I wanted to call. Uh, Arya's not streaming no more. Uh, nobody that I know. Oh well. Alright, well I'm just gonna end it here. Anyone who's lurk in the background or comes across this video at a later point, I do hope you enjoy it. I do hope you take care. I'm looking forward to seeing the analytics of how this pans out. And, uh, yeah. Thank y'all. Please have yourself a wonderful day. I appreciate you. Please appreciate yourselves. Peace out, y'all. My ambivalence. Cameras feel it is feeling empty.